In this tutorial, we are gonna show you how to make a timer, actually the countdown timer in PowerPoint without any add-ins. So let's begin the topic. This is an amazing memory game and this is my timer. If you really want to learn how to make this kind of uh, memory game in PowerPoint, so check the video description and click on i button. Uh, today's topic is how to make a countdown timer in PowerPoint. So let me end the slideshow. Uh, let me insert a new slide, go to home, go to new slide, insert a blank slide. This is a blank slide. I can easily add a background, actually I don't need any background, I can make this kind of timer and I will copy this timer and paste it over here or I can use this timer anywhere of my slide. So let me go insert, go to shapes, add a rounded corner rectangle shape, drag it over here like this. I have to change the shape fill, actually the black color, change the shape outline, no outline, shape effect preset, uh, this preset and go to shape effect shadow, uh, this shadow, this is looks like a, a digital timer and then I have to write the digit here. So let me go to insert again, insert a text box, drag it over here and write zero and change the font color to red color write zero 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 five so i have to change the font like the digital clock font so where i can find the font easily simply i have to go to google then i have to search by writing digital clock font and click on search and i have to go this website then i have to download this font I have already downloaded this font. Here is the DS digital font. The name of this font is DS digital. I can simply click on over here and I can install it from here. Then I have to change this font. Click on Ctrl A, go to font DS digital. This is my digital clock font and I have to increase the font size. Place it like this, actually the center of the shape. This is perfect. Then I have to select this shape and the background shape and press Ctrl G to group them together. You can easily change the shape outline according to your choice. Uh, this kind of outline looks very good. Then I uh, click on this shape, go to animation, go to add animation, click on disappear. Then change the duration to one second. Click Ctrl D to duplicate, place it over here and start after previous and write 4, then press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it here, change 3 and go to start after previous, then press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it here, change it to 2 and press ctrl d to duplicate write one again press ctrl d to duplicate and write zero zero then i have to keep this shape here if i want to place this shape over here but this shape is going to back so i have to click on it go to bring to front and place it over here then I have to click this one, click on bring to front and place it over here. I have to, I have to click this one, click on bring to front, place it over here. Then I have to press bring to front, place it uh, actually this one, bring to front and place it over here. Then again place it, then I have to again click on this and change bring to front and place it over here. Then I have to select all of the shapes pressing Ctrl A, go to shape format, go to align, align center, align middle, then this is ok. If I want to watch the slideshow, what will actually happen, uh, click on a space. The last digit 00 is going to be disappeared, I have to change something, I have to go animation pen. Uh, this is my last animation and I have to go to animation, animation pen. I have to change this with on click. Then again, I have to watch the slideshow. 
what will actually happen now this is looks good then i can easily use this kind of stopwatch any of my slide press ctrl a to select all press ctrl c to copy and go to this slide click on right button place it like this if i want to watch the slide show then this is my quiz and this is my timer hope the video is helpful to you if you like this video please share this video with your friend and family and don't forget to like and subscribe